So, hello and welcome everyone to this new Warface video. Today I'm going to present you a gun review for the new Downfield R65E4. This is the new Rifleman box gun that got added with the last update. So the hype about this weapon is really big and there are still some unanswered question at the moment and many people ask me if I can do a gun review about it because they are not sure at the moment if they should spend their money on those random boxes. In this video I try to explain you what are the good things and the bad sides on this gun and if it, if it is worth for you to spend your Warface dollars on those random boxes to get one of the both versions. We have here a normal and golden version. The downfield R65E4 is maybe known as L85A2. This weapon is included in many shooters, I know it by myself from Battlefield 4, from CSGO and many others. The name Danfield is probably from the production place Danfield in Britain. This is the most famous production place, so hey, yeah, you know how they got the name for the weapon now. Now, the most important fact for you is how to get this weapon. This weapon is available in the Warface random boxes. The first random box cost 2,700 Warface dollars, but at the moment we have a special sale and it is reduced by 20%. So if you're gonna think after this gun review, oh, this weapon could be interested, spend your money fast on the gun because the offer is not for every time. If you have a look now at the downfield gameplay, we see as first it have a burst fire mode and this is something really rare in Warface because we have only the F1000 and the M93R, I think this is the pistol, and other we don't have any burst fire weapons in Warface, so this is something really special and we need to take care about it because burst fire weapons are really rare in Warface. Now let's come to the stats and first of all we see here a damage of 80. 80 damage for assault rifles is yeah kind of a standard thing. We have many assault rifles with a damage of 80 like the T27 or the AK-103, the, LM the FY LMG or the LMG-230. So yeah we have many assault rifles with this damage. What we can say about the damage of 80 this is much in my opinion because most of the time we have a one hit if we hit the enemy in the head. And this is the most important fact for me personally, because a one hit in the head most of the times this is great. But now if we come to the range we have the most important fact of this gun, because it has a range of 17.5 and this is the highest range in the game. What does it mean now? If we see an enemy on a really really far distance we can aim on him with the scope and we will hit him for sure because 17.5 this is pretty pretty much this is the highest term of all assault rifles in Warface. The RPM is 620 but this is first it sounds really low but we need to take care about the damage the high range and that it is a burst fire gun. So with every burst we shoot three bullets automatically. So if we press on the left mouse button, we shoot instantly three bullets out of the magazine. And this is an important fact because if we aim on long range on a head and there are going instantly three bullets into his head, the enemy is down. And this is the point what makes the weapon so special and it makes the weapon also really good of course. So if you have a look at the accuracy, we have an aim accuracy of 30 and the hip accuracy of 21. Uh, those are both standard things and I don't think there is any more stuff we need to talk about here. Now to the clip size, we have a clip size of 30. This is also something normal for assault rifle guns. Uh, with 30 clips in the magazine, we shoot three bursts. That means we can press the left mouse button 10 times. Now let's have a little look at the recoil and there is an easy thing to describe the recoil because there is no recoil. We can shoot with this gun on so long ranges and we nearly don't feel any recoil and this makes the gun so much good on so 
long ranges and this is also a point why I use personally many times the two time or the three time scope. I tried sometimes the one time scope but there is no sense for one time scope because you are way better with a two or a three time scope. You don't feel any recoil and you won't get in trouble with using a two or a three time scope. Now, you probably already know that we have two different versions of this gun. We have the normal version and we have the golden version. What are the differences between it? We have a 0 0.5 difference between the range. The golden downfield has 0 0.5 more range. And this is not much and I played with both versions and I didn't feel a difference in between the range. So the, the golden one isn't better because that. The second difference is in the clip size we have six more bullets that means we can shoot two more bursts for this gun. And this is also not a big difference. Probably if you're on a kill streak you can get one more kill but that it is. So does make the sen a sentence golden gun hoop sense? No. It doesn't. The golden one is great because you don't pay repair costs for it and you can do a great looking achievement with it. But you don't have a good thing in the gameplay and you won't win because you're using the golden version of this gun. Now we are already here at the end of the video and I hope you got some detailed information about this gun. If you are interested in buying this gun, why not go to some of the special operation missions, missions collect some Warface dollars and try your luck on the Warface random boxes. Who knows, maybe you can get the gold or a normal version. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you, if you did, please leave a thumb up and probably subscribe to my channel if you aren't a subscriber already. Thanks for watching and we see you in my next video.